What's going on everybody? How you doing today? So here I am at the corner of 7th and Main in downtown Los Angeles. Now, this is a location I've been coming to for nine years. Nine. Not because of the Cecil Hotel, which is right there. Although we're going to talk about the Cecil. If you clicked on this video and think it's going to be all about the Cecil, all Cecil all the time, not all Cecil. A little Cecil. When I first came to California, one of the first things I wanted to see was where you 2 one of my favorite bands, recorded the video. The incredible, the world famous, the one of the biggest videos of all time. Where the Streets Have No Name, one of their biggest songs. I'm very excited right now. I gotta calm down a little bit. I actually really, because I'm finally here. They recorded it on a rooftop. And that rooftop happens to be next door to the Cecil Hotel. And I have not been able to figure out how to get on top. The people that work in the building, it's, I've tried. I've tried negotiations. I've tried, but they don't want people up on that roof because they've changed the roof a little bit and it's unsafe to walk on. But I said, don't worry about that. I'll be fine. My friend John and I came out here 2012 and we tried. I was here two weeks ago trying to get on that roof. I tried. I was here three weeks ago, tried. Every time, I always try whenever I'm in downtown LA. And finally, I'm almost here. Now look straight ahead. See this, uh, well, cup full of what seems to be urine? Yeah, it looks like urine with some brown powder in it. Cool. Right on this rooftop is where you 2 recorded the video for Where the Streets Have No Name. 3.30 in the afternoon, a bit, and it was, downtown LA back then was a, I mean, downtown LA has a little bit of a sketchy parts. This was a little rougher back then. Now they're building it up, but they shut down traffic. And then the video got shut down. It was right here though, right on this roof. Now, I'm not alone here though. As creepy as that is with the Cecil Hotel right there, I'm not alone. I'm with my old friend, Paul, from Paulito's Way. What's going on everybody? We met in a cemetery. Yep, like almost three years ago. Almost three years ago while I was filming. And we hit it off, we film together every now and again whenever we get a chance. You didn't know about the YouTube connection, did you? No, no. I blew your mind. It's I, pretty cool to be up here on the on the parking structure. Yeah. I, now we're not technically on the YouTube roof, but we're close enough. But you know a bit about the Cecil Hotel. Now everybody's asked me to do videos about the Cecil Hotel, and I've been inside back in the day. I was I've gone up the elevator, and um, that was way before it was known for what it's known for now as being like the haunted hotel. And now it's impossible to get in unless you're Zach Baggins or, <laughs> or someone. It's, it's, it's impossible, but there are, I believe making it into something else. But what, tell me something about this hotel that maybe I don't know about. Sorry, we got interrupted by a car because this is a parking garage. So the Cecil was originally opened in 1924 and there's been 16 sudden or unexplained deaths. 16. 16, so yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's haunted. I, it's so looking at it, super creepy. Yeah, that's crazy. For one building to have 16 sudden or unexplained deaths. I mean, people have fell from the building, like not purposely. Well, people... actually, the uh, suicides jump. There's, oh, a, I thought... there's one where a, a, a guy jumps off and lands on a lady. On the street? No, well, he, he jumps, I believe he jumps in the front, lands on her, and she dies. They both died. They both died. Oh, my God. I'd just like to correct Paul here, and it was a woman, a 27-year-old woman, that jumped out the window and landed on a 65-year-old man. So I thought some people just accidentally fell, because if you look, I mean, I knew it was famous for suicide, but if you look there, it looks like people were going down those, uh, the fire escape maybe accidentally fell. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stories. Yeah. And, I mean, there's stories of people falling, and they say that they, people wouldn't have done that. People, people don't do that. The people that have done it, the families are... And a newborn believe. was tossed from the building. Yeah, I by, uh, I believe, a mother. Wow. Now, of course, Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, he stayed here, right? During his killing spree. During his killing spree. That alone is insane. And fellow Canadian, Elisa Lamb, we all know, I think a lot of people know her story. Do you want to elaborate on Elisa Lamb's story? A Canadian girl came out to California to see, see the sights. She ended up, uh, I don't know how... She ended up in the water tower, 
Yeah. Uh, there's a few. There's a, they, they started noticing a foul taste yeah, in the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, all the, the people staying here, even tourists, they started noticing the water was orange, brown. And they were actually, some of them, I, I've seen on the news, they were saying they were drinking the water. Yeah. And then finally, they went. Yeah, the security they, security checked up there and they found a body. And it was Elisa Lamb. There's, there's video of her on the elevator. Yeah, doing supposedly some ritual, but yeah, I, don't know, I don't know about all that. I mean. It looks like, uh, I, I mean, to me, what I've seen, it looks like drug use. Actually, you know, and she's just kind of gone a little. Hey, it's strange though it's strange it's it is strange. very strange but it's very sad it seems like she uh, i i assumed it was drugged when i first heard it but it's very strange the way she's acting and how she got up there and how she ended up there is bizarre we'll show you some shots of the cecil right now so you can hear the sirens here in downtown la there's the cecil there i gave you a shot of the water tower at the beginning you can see it there's a couple of them but this is a great angle. If you ever want to come and see the Cecil Hotel and stop, take photographs, it's very, very difficult out on the street. But you just come to the parking garage behind the building at the corner of 7th and Main and say you want to park on the roof and they're going to let you. But that's the Cecil Hotel right there. And like I said, I've been inside. Um, it was very nice when I was there. And I think it fell, that was about 2012 or 2014. The, the only time I'd ever been inside. And there's a little side room I sat in with my friend, and really nice, on, like in the lobby area. I don't know what the rooms are like. I haven't seen any of the documentaries made about the Cecil Hotel. Uh, just short video clips about Elisa Lamb is really all I ever knew about this place. But I know that it's hugely popular with ghost hunters and exploration and things like that now. But what really fascinated me about the Cecil Hotel was it, the fact that it's in the background of a YouTube video. Paul, you're a little bit younger than me, but you gotta remember, in the 80s, especially like 1987, when U2 came out with the Joshua Tree, it was the biggest album of the year, and it was huge. They were on the rise, and that album is what just skyrocketed them. And so it was huge. And where the 370 name is the lead track from the uh, album, and it, the video is just them being U2, doing what they do, which is kind of taking over wherever they are and making it their own space. And they played a full, well not a full guard, they played a few songs to warm up and you can see all the fans down around the side watching and the streets flooded because yeah. they were announcing on the radio to come down to be in a YouTube video shoot. And like I said, YouTube were very popular at the time and then and getting more and more popular. And they set up all their gear right down here and you can see this in the video. I've come to this lot many times trying to get, I, I've, I've even tried, I'm not even gonna lie, I've even tried to get on my car and scale up there back in the day I tried to climb up off of my car onto that building onto that just so I could get on the roof I was obsessed obsessed but you can still see it looks the same they parked all the gear in here they cleared it out but Bono would have been right at the edge ha, right at the end of the well he, he was right at the edge straight ahead recording the video for where the streets have no name right here same buildings in the background you can line them all up from the video And of course, lots of shots of the Cecil right in the background. If you've been watching my channel for a while, if you're ever on my live streams, people always ask if I'm gonna do the Cecil and I've been mentioning for about the past year, I'm like, yes, but there's something else that I really wanna film beside the Cecil and this is it. And a big thank you to Rain locations on Instagram. Uh, Rain was the one that gave me the tip about finally about saying, come park here where the uh, ur brown urine water is. Uh, that it's your best shot and according to Marshall Mathers you only get one shot but here I am and here you are that famous video all shot right here and lots of shots down there and then around the street on the other side what do you want to add about the Cecil Hotel I uh, really wish we can go inside I mean that's that's really what I really want to do because see a lot of videos on it just want to go in the elevator so what's happening with it now? Is it being refurbished? I, I don't know. I, I've been looking into it for like a couple of years already, and it's always been closed. It's I know, it's, I know it's always changed, closed. They changed it to the uh, stay on Main. But, yeah, yeah. But they that, never... that, now they changed it back, I believe. Oh, it was really? it was stay on Main when I came, when I was here, when I came inside, and now it looks. I mean, you can't get rid of. It looks like they're embracing the uh, 
notoriety of it, right? Like say they're yeah, kind of. They've never even when they change it to stay on main, they never remove. No, that. they never remove that. Well, low, qual- low, daily, weekly. And there is another sign for the Cecil Hotel somewhere around that I always see when I'm driving around downtown, downtown, uh, downtown LA. Like Cecil Hotel this way, and it's huge. It's on another building. I'm not sure where it is, but yeah, you, I think they're embracing their notoriety more. And I, I'm not sure. I'll have to maybe put a, something in, but I think they're making it into apartments, possibly. I mean, they were kind of like that already for like. Right. Yeah, but, but, for, but like, I guess with like full kitchen in each apartment. But yeah, you can't go in anymore. But they're letting people in to film if you've got uh, a bigger budget than I. And possibly a bigger crew than I, because it's yeah. just me and Paulino. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that they, uh, you two, before I forget, uh, have a habit of doing shows like this. Because they did, for when they were promoting How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, they have a song called All Because of You. And they got on the back of a flatbed truck and recorded the video while driving around New York City. And people were freaking out. And then they, re- then they did a free concert. I believe it was at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. One of the bridges. I can't remember exactly which one now. But yeah, so they do this. So they were going to play a few other songs, but they got shut down. The ple- what you see in the video is real. They got shut down and had to stop playing because they were causing so much commotion. I will show you some shots from around down and what it looks like and how it looks. People were looking up. I'll put them in right now. So yeah, all right here. You see all of this. This is the down view. But just people were packed all along there. All along there. The street was full. And Bonham was right up there. Hard to get a good angle, but yeah, that's where they were performing. And there you go, there you go, the Cecil right there. Very cool. This whole street was full of people, just full. Some other shots of the Cecil right here. A lot of people are uh, taking photographs as you see, and they're wondering, other people are wondering, what are people taking photographs of here? Well, it's the Cecil. And it's locked up. It's definitely locked up. All locked up. I can see the lobby a little bit. See a bit of the lobby in there, that white counter. But to the right, of, oh, oh, oh you, I can see now. You can see better now. It looks like they're doing some work. But off to the right, there was a really nice room. It was all leather couches, and there was a pool table. It was like fixed up. That would have been 2014, I guess, when they were stay on Main and trying to attract a new clientele. It was nice. There it is, the legendary Cecil. Alright, so that's it. That's the Cecil Hotel. That's where they filmed the video for you two's Rare in the Streets of No Name. Awesome. Always wanted to come here. Thanks for coming along, Paulito. Subscribe to Paulito's Way. He's got some good content. Just doesn't upload enough. Nah, nah, I'm coming. I'm coming. More, more. I'm coming. Yeah, so uh, like I said, if you tune into this video because the Cecil Hotel's in the title, sorry, it's more about you two. But uh, thank you for watching. But it's really exciting me. There's lots of stuff about the Cecil Hotel. Scott Michaels did some stuff. He's my boy. All right. Ready? We're going somewhere. And where are we going? How are we getting there? Wait. You know where we're going? We're going somewhere where the streets do have a name. We're going further downtown to film something. You ready? Let's go. Yeah, I know I know the name of that street. That was stupid. Okay. Peace. Peace. Out.